Hey Pisces, it's Sunny, and this is your mid monthly for March 2016. Hopefully, all of you can have an awesome mid month. Keep in mind that these are just general readings, and I may not make sense to you nor talk about whatever you got going on in your life. Please check out your sun, your moon, and all your rising signs because those signs may resonate with you a little bit more during this time. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, please check out my website that is www.thesunnyglow.com. I will get to you as soon as I can. Um, I am trying to aim around March 15th through March 31st, and I may discuss things that has already happened in early March, and I may discuss things that will happen in April. Yeah, a lot to say. Happy birthday to all of my little bubble loves who are celebrating their birthday um, during the during the beginning of mid March. But you guys got the theme of expectations. So, yeah, let's see what's going on for you. Mid March, March 15th through March 31st for Pisces. March 15th through March 31st for Pisces. For cars. I'm picking up like. <sighs> okay like weirdness but it's not really weird it's just like a change of growth and you don't know how to react to it you don't know how to handle it i do feel that many of you you may have problems with like anxiety or like you your cat like you're losing your breath out of nowhere or like you feel kind of jumpy or you just feel like a lot of activity i do see that many of you you may be very hypersensitive during this time and you may connect with a lot of spirits. So that's really, really interesting if you are into that kind of deal. Okay. <sighs> All right. So I feel like with this, honestly, it's time for you guys to be open to change. Really tying into the overall theme of March with like you have a lot of outdated mindsets a lot of outdated goals going on during this time and it's honestly time for many of you to do things differently whether it's like you cleaning out your closet you rearranging your home um changing up your your hair changing up your appearance whatever the case may be like i feel that it's time for something new to happen like but i honestly feel like this is more of like with goals and finances and the way that you view things really good time for you to change up long-term and short-term goals during this time i also feel that many of you like you're still holding on to a past lover or it's like you're holding on to something whatever the case may be like maybe you're thinking about them maybe you're dreaming of them or maybe this person is subconsciously like holding on to you that can happen to be honest um but I just feel like, okay, I heard the word restriction. I feel that like when it comes to your finances, like do be careful of you kind of spending too much. I do feel like financially, like you will be okay. But just, you know, like kind of limit yourself. I do feel that many of you, this is going to be a really good time for you to create a budget. But with this, um, I feel like there's some sort of stability that you want but it's honestly time for you to do things differently and cut ties to your past self or cut ties to past people who really don't serve you any purpose anymore for some reason i'm picking up like shoes maybe some of you like you're buying new shoes or maybe your feet are getting bigger or maybe like you're going to new places and like your feet may be itching um yeah so <sighs> I feel like okay I'm picking up on a corner like maybe some of you like you're going to a mall like four square mall I don't know why I heard that but I also feel like maybe some of you like you may feel backed up in a corner and this may be with like past demons like just something that's really holding you back like maybe you feel suffocated tying into me talking about you feel restricted from something but honestly overall I feel like this is more mental then anything like i feel like whatever is holding you back like you have the determination to like push through it but it's just all about you wanting to change and i'm also picking up that you must adapt to new things like when you do something new 
like don't just do it for a while like really get the hang of it get the use like get the use of it like especially like with diet and routine and working out like yes we may work out for like a good week solid and they were like okay i'm good or i'll do it tomorrow like you keep putting it off please stop putting things off i heard the phrase um don't do what you can do now instead of tomorrow i know i'm saying that all fucked up please forgive me y'all but yeah wait don't do what you don't do what you can tomorrow bitch fuck it i can't, I can't think of it <laughs> hopefully y'all get what i'm saying but yeah like don't basically don't push things off like just do it okay really tying into the four of pentacles like walk away from certain situations many of you you may be really really hypersensitive or like just really connected or like you may find yourself like more tired um or like you're just too much into your head i'm picking up with this like you aren't satisfied with something or like you expected more or like you felt as if you would be better off by now but i'm picking up that like some of you like you've created some delays with yourself really funny because like this is kind of off topic but not really because it's involving you guys i kept picking up on the moon like there was some sort of oddness going on with the moon let me see i know i don't think i have that app on my phone but i think the moon is is in cancer right now or it's going to be in leo so there may be some oddness going on like maybe the moon is bringing out your emotional side or it's making you react in an odd way so please be careful of your emotional side be careful of your inner demons your your deep dark secrets that you haven't um, dealt with yet okay um some of you you may be going on a spiritual retreat and it may be time for you to cleanse your aura do some meditations but also with this like it's time for you to like leave things behind like it's honestly time for many of you to like do new things like with your old expectations whatever it is old agendas old mindset old people like just let stuff go honestly i also feel like many of you like you shouldn't settle whether like you're settling with a goal or like you're settling with a partner or whatever the case may be like don't settle for less because your god and your angels are going to be like okay well since you accept it from someone else you don't mind getting the same thing from another person so just make sure you tell people exactly what you want and if someone can't give that to you then i mean I, I hate to be mean like just cut them off like you don't want to keep dealing with the same shit or the same bullshit like it's time for us to like really take care of ourselves and love ourselves. and i'm honestly feeling the same way because i have pisces in my ninth house of like spiritual learning and just things dealing with the mind so yeah with uh the ten of pentacles i do feel like financially you will be okay because you started with the four of pentacles and then you're ending with the ten so financially many of you like you are going to gain some blessings i do feel that if you honestly been working hard especially for my independent like landscaping entrepreneur business minded um pisces i do feel like financially like you are going to gain some sort of some sort of abundance i'm also picking up that many of you like there may be talks of moving or maybe like you're settling in you're getting used to the land you're getting used to some sort of property i do feel that when it comes to relationships it can kind of go either way i do feel like relationships are going to be kind of mediocre during this time it's very um <laughs> Uh, for some reason I heard the word profitable like it may be profitable for you to find someone maybe you're going to find someone with like a really good job and like makes a lot of money I don't know why the angels were like profitable but yeah but maybe you know it may be good for some of you to find a relationship but I, I just feel like honestly like just be mindful of morals make sure that you are connected with someone who has the same goals values morals traditions as you because like i said you really don't want to settle for less like you really really don't and if you can work it out then that's awesome but you know like really take things slow and really think about it i do feel that many of you it's like you want something solid you want something that's going to be long term really good time to focus on long term things and like make changes in order for new long term things to come into your life really tying into the four pentacles um i do feel like there's going to be some sort damn there's going to be some sort of connection 
with like elderly family members maybe you're connecting with family members i'm also picking up on family drama with this i will say um i'm picking up that children may be mischievous during this time or like just really odd some of you like your children they may pretend to be animals during this time and they may just like make a lot of noise and like bark or meow or moo all the time so that's really interesting also do be careful about the things that you say um around your children because they could be listening to you and like you may this uh you may say some gossip or like you may say something that like they really weren't supposed to hear and they may you know go back and tell somebody and that may be like a lot of drama because you know little kids they can't hold freaking water sometimes but with this i'm also picking up like something is breaking like a dynamic is breaking maybe um there may be some separations going on especially if you guys really haven't been happy i feel like this is for people who have been together for like six years maybe like four to six years um maybe four to six months honey but yeah i'm just picking up that many of you like you are being guided by your ancestors and your spirit guides during this time to let you know that either you're on the right path or it's time for you to push through okay with this i do feel like many of you you're on a spiritual direction i heard spiritual direction some of you i'm picking up like something is inclining maybe uh i'm picking up like you're working out more or maybe your path is going to become more difficult because i like i said it's inclining so you may like things may be like um just more like your journey may be more difficult but I honestly feel like you will be okay because I feel like you're elevating and like you're going to new heights, like you're going to new things, kind of similar to the message of the Aquariuses and you guys are right beside them. So that's really interesting. But I honestly feel that like you are kind of at a crossroads and like it's time for you to separate things and like put things in the proper place, uh, whether it's positive, negative, garbage, like whatever the case may be. Like it's just honestly time for many of you to like do new things and in order for you to get new things in return like stop doing old shit wanting new results like that's really going to happen but um also be careful of some of you like you may be overly dominant during this time and this may be through work or with relationships like maybe um your partner like just feels like you are controlling i'm picking up like sexually like maybe you want to be more like for my women like maybe you want to be more freaky and like you want to be like a dominatrix or like just you want to take control this time and this could be for my males as well hell but um with this i'm picking up like a lot of positive energy like you're moving forward honestly i am picking up on delays but that's only if you allow for it to happen like i feel like many of you like you have a good head on your shoulders and, like you know what you need to do but just be careful of you like you know procrastinating or getting lazy or just putting off shit and letting shit pile up like for real card on the bottom i do feel like your guardian angels are trying to give you some sort of sign some sort of leeway i heard so just you know take it just take it for real um some of you you may be kind of tired with you know how things are it's like you're happy but like i said earlier like you thought that you would be far farther off than you are right now i mean shit happens we go through life we go through delays we stop our growth sometimes or we allow for others to stop our growth but all we can really do is just like continue to walk that path even if it gets tough you know it's not worth getting sometimes you just gotta like fight really really hard for tough stuff you know hopefully that makes sense i'm, I'm kind of tired so if it sounds like i'm babbling i'm sorry what important messages for Pisces from mid-March, March 15th to March 31st. Important messages for Pisces. First card on the top. Really good sign for many of you to heal. I'm picking up that like you need to be careful of you speeding. Um, And honestly, just know that help is on the way. Wisdom. So many of you, you are being guided during this time. Please know that you will be completely awesome. Like, I feel like you must take all that you've learned and all that you know and like just better yourself. That's honestly all you can do. So for, like I said, this all um this month just seems about 
expectations and bettering yourself in order for you to perform better that's what i've heard so really really interesting i do feel like this is gonna be really cool for many of you like just it's all about you putting that work in for real so hopefully you guys enjoyed this good luck with everything and i will be back for april bye